from our Takoyaki Cafe. Located in between Guam Reef and Weston Hotel in Tumon, call them today at 648-TAMA. Hapani Guam, welcome to another episode of In The Mix. I'm Jonah Gancharfras, thanks so much for tuning in. A great show lined up for you this evening. Coming up, I introduce you to local business Bonito Baby, specializing in essential baby items and apparel. A little bit later in KOM Connections, we take a look at NBC's newest medical drama, Heartbeat. I will close out the show tonight with music from Austin Saralu. But first things first, she's a professional dancer with Guam Roots. Here's more on 25-year-old Jaylee Mendoza. Make no mistake, Guam has talent. Take, for example, 25-year-old Jaylee Mendoza. Mendoza, whose mom is originally from Chalampago, is making waves as a professional dancer. Born and raised in California, she stayed on Guam briefly when she was younger before moving back to California, but says all of her family on her mom's side still reside on Guam. Currently residing in North Hollywood, Mendoza has been busy with an array of dance projects. She adds dance with something introduced to her at a young age. Growing up, um, my uncle owned a halal. So I started doing Tahitian when I was like five. Um, from there, performing, like I just realized that I loved performing and entertaining. It was when she attended her first concert when she realized she wanted to go farther with dance. A boy band called B2K, so <laughs> random. But uh, when we went there for my birthday when I was 13, I realized that I was only watching the backup dancers. Like, there's four guys on stage, and out of all those guys that I usually would love to watch, I was watching the girl backup dancers. So at that moment, I was like, oh, that's what I want to do. After much convincing, Mendoza's mom enrolled her into hip hop classes. From there, I did um, like jazz, I trained technique, jazz, ballet, tap, lyrical. Um, all those styles, but mo I mostly focus on hip hop now. She describes her dance style as island influenced. Even when I do hip hop, it's a little different just because of like growing up, all we did was listen to island music, you know? So it definitely has more of an island vibe. My style, a lot of hip movements. By the age of 17, she joined Funk Beyond Control in San Francisco and had a successful competition season with them. After moving to Las Vegas for a few years of training with Culture Shock, she's finally where she's always dreamed of being, doing what she's always dreamed of doing, a professional working dancer in Los Angeles. To date, she says her biggest accomplishment has been working with Pharrell. The way that happened was so random because I didn't even audition for that job. I auditioned for something else and the choreographer just happened to be working with him at the time and so she was like oh she looks like he'll, she'll be perfect for that um that crew being part of pharrell's dance crew has afforded her some incredible opportunities and experiences from touring all over performing during the super bowl 50 festivities and even dancing on the jimmy fallon show and let's keep with talk shows mendoza has even appeared on the ellen degeneres show as a backup dancer for hillary duff Mendoza even made the jump to music videos, appearing in Low from Juicy J featuring Nicki Minaj, Hold You Down from DJ Khaled, and Jason Derulo's Talk Dirty, to name a few. She's also been in commercials for Target and Apple's iPhone 6. So with such an impressive body of work to date, what moment has stood out to her? Again, dancing with Pharrell, but it was uh, Singapore. We did the, what is it called? The Grand Prix show in Singapore. Actually, it was my first show with him, my first tour show with him. And um, it was a huge stage and I look out and you can't even see where the audience ends. And that was the first show that I cried at at the end too, because it was just overwhelming. And despite her crazy schedule, she still finds time to teach dance to kids and give back with nonprofit Culture Shock in Las Vegas. Dance classes are expensive. So the fact that they pay $5 a whole month to learn dance and I just think that it's great to keep them off the streets and give them something, give them an outlet. Aside from teaching, auditioning for commercials and film, the future looks bright for this star. You guys will be the first one to know, actually. I just got the call, but um, supposedly I booked Coachella to be dancing with Major Lazer. So I'm still waiting to get more info on that. That would be coming up in July. So that's one of my next projects. Knowing that dance is huge on Ireland, she offers a simple piece of advice. What I always preach is to genuinely stay true to yourself. 
I think that's the most important thing because there have been many videos, many jobs that it required me to do something that I did not want to do. And like, even though I, I definitely needed the money at that time, I stuck to my gut and I stuck to my morals and how I was raised. And if it's gonna make you feel uncomfortable, then don't even think about taking that job, you know? So it's just really about staying true to yourself, staying true to your heart. And I feel like everything will fall into place. And of course, she had to make a shout out to her family in Chalampago. Hopefully I'll be coming to see you guys soon. I haven't seen any of them for so many years. I'm so grateful for Facebook and Instagram though, because we still are able to keep in touch with each other, but Michelle, man. <laughs> Don't go anywhere because when we return, we tell you more about Bonita Baby. You're watching In The Mix.